Hey everyone. In this video, I want to talk to you about how having standards isn't shallow. Now, I remember when I was in middle school, there was one time where I was having a conversation with a friend about the kind of girls we, were, we found attractive, and I remember a girl sitting behind me overheard our conversation and ended up calling me out and saying that I was shallow for my preferences. And I remember at the time, that affected me quite a lot because I was pretty insecure, as a lot of middle schoolers are, and I thought that I was suddenly a bad person just because I had standards and preferences. Well, as an adult, I can tell you that having standards is not shallow at all. You see, standards are incredibly important. They're pretty much the bare minimum, the barriers for allowing people into your life romantically and even for friendships. You should have high standards. You see, when you don't have high standards, you may let bad people into your life. People who are going to be bad influences on you, as well as anybody else that you may hang out with. So, it's important that you set your standards high so that you do not tolerate people who are bad for you, or even people who are going to waste your time, or people who will contribute absolutely nothing to your life. Standards are going to edge out all of these people so that they never have the opportunity to steer you in the wrong direction. You always want to be making that forward progress. And another interesting thing, a lot of people who say that having standards is shallow are usually just frustrated. They may not be great at dating themselves and because of that they take their frustration out on other people and try to make other people insecure. So you're not really going to find a, a situation where somebody who is a great person is going to shame other people for their standards. It's just, that's not going to happen. So anybody who is trying to do that to you is probably not a great person, which would lead me to wonder why you should ever listen to their opinion. Their opinion doesn't really matter in this case, especially if they don't have experience on how standards are a beneficial thing in your life. And another thing, usually people who say that having standards is shallow are hypocrites. They're going to have standards of their own. They're not going to date certain people. They're not going to let certain people come into their life as a friend. Everybody has these bare minimums that they will allow into their life. And it's a good thing. It is incredibly beneficial. If you didn't have standards, that would be really bad, because then you would waste a lot of time on the wrong relationships and the wrong friendships. So, keep having high standards, and in fact, I would say you should even at times consciously think about your standards and kind of, if you can, make them a bit higher. Not too high, of course. You don't want to get to the point where you're not going to let anyone into your life, but you want to have some, basically, bare minimums, some things that people need to meet. Say, for instance, you want them to be a positive influence on your life. So they need to be that. They need to be maybe uh, at a certain level of intelligence, whatever it may be. Maybe even if you're super ambitious, you want them to be at a certain level of professional success. I know entrepreneurs like to surround themselves with other entrepreneurs and so on and so forth. But standards are a good thing. Standards will make your life better because the better people that you let into your life, guess what? They're going to rub off on you. That whole quote that we are the, the what is it? We are the sum of the five people we spend the most time with. That's true. And your standards are going to affect who you let into your life. So make sure you only let great people in. And like I said at the beginning, having high standards is not shallow. So never think that never feel guilty and never shame yourself for wanting the best for yourself. Anyway, I hope this video helped you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Arrivederci!